after JEE, main and JEE advanced, the next most important exam students would be taking PCM, that is physics, chemistry and math students would be taking is the BITSAT exam. So BITSAT 2023 notification is now out and the registrations are open. So let's try to understand all about BITSAT in this video. So first thing is, let's understand the important dates as far as BITSAT is concerned. So the important dates are something like this. Uh, there, BITSAT is going to be conducted like last year in two Session 1 is from 22nd May to 26th May and session 2 is from 18th June to 22nd June. So you can take the test in the first session or in the second session or in both the sessions. If you take this uh, exam in both the sessions, wherever you get more marks, that will be considered. Whichever session you get more marks, you will be, that, that, that session marks will be considered. The last day to apply for session 1 or both, that means now itself you can decide to apply for both the sessions or you can take only session 1 and the last date is to apply, uh, to apply is April 9th. So till 9th of April the registration window is open but I would suggest that don't wait so long, try to do it as early as possible. Then application for session 2 is 23rd May to 12th of June, not really written here, it is 12th of June. 23rd May to 12th June, application for session 2. That means after session 1, if you decide to take session 2 or you want to apply afresh for session 2 only, the application window extends from 23rd May to 12th June. So this is as far as the most important dates are concerned. Of course, counseling and other dates are also there, but I am not getting, to, getting into those details. So as of now, what we need to understand is there are two sessions, 22nd May to 26th May and 18th June to 22nd June. So this 22nd May to 26th May will happen before JE advanced and 18th June to 22nd June will happen after JE advanced. So you can decide when you want to take the BITSAT exam. Okay. Then as far as the BITSAT format is concerned, uh, last year there was a major change in BITSAT exam. Till last year what used to happen was we used to have 150 questions in the exam. So last year onwards, that has that has been reduced to 130. Now totally, there are 130 questions in the BITSAT exam. All of the multiple choice variety, mm, physics will have 30 questions, chemistry will have uh, 30 questions, English proficiency. So there will be 10 questions in English proficiency and there will be 20 questions in logical reasoning. So that is uh, uh, 30 questions in English and logical reasoning and mathematics or biology. You can take one of these things, biology for B farm, mathematics for BE, 40 questions. So totally you have 130 questions. The marking scheme is very simple, plus 3 and minus 1. So plus 3 for correct answers, minus 1 for wrong answers. In addition, BITSAT has a unique feature which is these bonus questions. Now what are these bonus questions? After you answer all the 130 questions and if you have time, you can opt for the bonus questions. So what is the time that we have? We have 3 hours totally, 180 minutes, 130 questions. So in case you answer all the 130 questions in advance, you can then ask for the bonus questions and you will get 12 bonus questions. So this is for, for those students who have, uh, who have merit and who want to score more for the meritorious students. This is an additional facility that BITSAT authorities are providing. So what do you do in these 12 bonus questions? You will have uh, 3 from physics, 3 from chemistry, 3 from logical reasoning and 3 from mathematics or biology. So that is the breakup of the questions. So 12 questions in all uh, you can get and the marking scheme is the same for the bonus questions also. So if you want to increase the score beyond 390, you can use the bonus questions. Okay. Now uh, about the eligibility. Now this is important. Eligibility, first thing is that students who are appearing for 12th class exams in 2023 or if you have passed uh, 12th class exams in 2022, you are eligible. So those, that means that if you have passed in 2021, you are not eligible. So either you should be uh, appearing in 12th in 2023 or you should have appeared last year, 2022. That is eligibility, number one. 
Second thing is that you should get 75% marks in physics, chemistry and mathematics with at least 60% marks in, in each. So, 75% in the aggregate. So, totally including maths, physics and chemistry, you should get 75 and in each of the subjects, you should get 60%. So, this is these are the only two eligibility criteria that you have. So, BITSAT exam, the application window is open. You can go to uh, BITSAT website and you can do the online registration. The total registration process is online. So, this extends up to April 9th. So, much before that, you can apply for it. Okay. And as far as nano is concerned, we have what is known as the crash course. We have a crash course for BITSAT, specifically for BITSAT starting from 3rd of April. So, crash course from 3rd of April, uh, Monday, we have the crash course. So, immediately after your intermediate exam, the next following Monday, we have the crash course starting. What are we going to do? We are going to cover maths, physics and chemistry as well as English and logical reasoning in the BITSAT pattern. The timings will be from 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock and during this time, we will quickly revise and we will give you daily practice questions and there will be weekly tests and there will be 10 grant tests on the BITSAT pattern and this crash course will be for 45 days starting from 3rd of April. So, which means that this uh, uh, crash course will, com will be completed much before the first session of BITSAT and this crash course will be conducted at Kotapet, at Madapur, at Nallakunta, Nal at all the three places. Now, at Nallakunta and Madapur, we also have a hostel facility. At Kotapet, we have purely test scholar. Okay. So, if you are planning for BITSAT and if you want a crash course, then you can opt for this crash course that is being conducted by Nano starting from 3rd of April. All the best for your BITSAT.